Hi again. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add information to Pandas data frames. We're going to continue to work with the data that we loaded in Pandas in the previous videos. So under the variable SOCC, we have a Pandas data frame that contains some editorials and articles from a Canadian newspaper. So what we're going to do next is we're going to add some new columns into the Pandas data frame. Imagine that we want to calculate the ratio of top level comments and the discussions below them. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a column named comments ratio to the data frame SOCC. And how we're going to do this is we're going to take the data frame, add the name of the new column in brackets after the name of the variable, and then we use a single equal sign to assign the value none to each row in this column. And when I run this cell, the column gets created. And we can easily check this by using the head method to retrieve the first five rows in the data frame. So if you take a look right here, you can see an empty column here on the right hand side with the name comments ratio. So let's go ahead and fill this column with some values and to do so we can move down and then again assign some values into the column in the data frame as done in this cell right here. So we call the data frame, then we specify the column and then we use the equal sign and then we have a reference to the column containing the number of top level comments divided by the values in the column for all the comments. And if I run this cell, the column for the comments ratio gets populated by the result of this calculation. Moving ahead, if you remember from the previous videos, some of the articles didn't get any comments at all. So in this case, we would be dividing zero by zero. So if we filter the data frame for articles with no top level comments and look at the first five examples, then if we scroll to the right and look at the comments ratio, then what we see is a NAN value here instead of the original none that we created when creating the placeholder column. And NAN simply means not a number and this is simply because you cannot divide by zero. Pandas automatically ignores these NAN values when performing calculations on the column values. So if we use the describe method, for example, to get some descriptive statistics for the comments ratio um, column, if I run this cell, you can see that the count is only approximately 7,700, although we have nearly 11,000 articles in this data frame. This means that only these 7,800 items were included in the calculation. Just as easily we can do some natural language processing and store the results into the pandas data frame. So we could just start by taking the articles with a high number of top level comments as expressed by the comments ratio and also um, filter the data for those articles that actually received more than 200 comments. So this is what we do in this cell right here. So if you take a look, we have a combined um, criteria. So two different criteria for filtering the data frame um, as introduced in the previous video. And now we're simply going to take the first five values of the data frame using the head method. And as you can see, we have some articles here with quite some few comments. And what we're going to do next is we're going to import Spacey. And then we're going to load a medium sized language model for the English language, which we're going to use to process the titles of these articles. And now we're going to create an empty placeholder column for the titles that we're going to feed to the spacey language model. So we're going to continue by fetching each title of the article, which is stored in the column title, and then we feed it to the language model stored under the variable NLP for processing. 
and then we store the output into a column named processed title. And to do this, we're going to use the apply method. And this is super easy, as the name of the apply method suggests. It simply takes whatever is provided to the apply method and applies it to the contents of the column. So going through each row in the column and applying whatever we provide to the apply method. To put it simply, we get the string objects from the title column and provide them to the language model under the variable NLP. So let's go ahead and run this cell. What we get back is the processed titles here in the column on the right hand side. And if we scroll further down, we can examine some of the individual rows in the column processed title. And we're going to use the at accessor to access the processed title column at the row with the index two. And what we get back is the name of the article. And if we check its type, it's actually a spacey doc object. Next, we're going to do something a bit more complicated. So we're going to define our own Python function to fetch lemmas for each noun in the processed titles. So if you take a look at this little right here, we're going to define the function by starting with the command def, which stands for define, which is then followed by the name that we give to the function, which in this case is get nouns. And after the name of the function, we define all the inputs that need to be provided to the function. And in this case, we define a single input and we refer to this input using the variable named NLP underscore text. And then we finish the define or def command with a colon. And as you can see, the definition that comes afterwards needs to be indented. And we're going to start by the command assert. And what this command does is it evaluates a statement. On the left hand side of the two equal signs, we have the statement that the type of the object fed to this function has to be the object type that we define here on the right hand side. So a spacey doc object. This ensures that we will get an error if we try to provide, let's say, Python string objects to our function. Next, we create an empty list named lemmas that we then populate by looping over the NLP text, which is a spacey doc object, and we examine each token. We take the tag underscore attribute and look for nouns. And in this case, you know, the fine grained part of speech tag for a noun is two capital N, so NN. And if we find a match in the spacey dog object, we add the lemma of the token to the list named lemmas. When we have looped over the spacey doc object, we return this list of lemmas. So this is the output of the function. So the input to the function is a spacey doc object and the output is a Python list containing the lemmas as string objects. And to define the function, to make it available in Python, we simply run this cell. And now we have the get nouns function available in Python. And what we're going to do next is we're going to apply this function to titles in the column processed title. So in this case, we're simply going to assign the output, that is the list of lemmas into the column nouns as defined here on the left hand side of the equal sign. And as you can see, we don't even have to create a placeholder column. We can just assign directly data to the pandas data frame. And then on the right hand side, we're going to take the spacey doc object in the column processed title, and then we call the apply method. And then we provide the name of our function that we just defined. So if we examine the output on the right hand side, we have now a column named nouns, which contains 
a list of lemmas that we just extracted from the spacey doc objects in the column processed title. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this video useful. And if you have any questions, just leave a comment below. Thanks.